Welcome to your first day of training at Steinmetz Falls Power Company. My name is Aaron, I'm an electrical engineer, and I'm proud to serve as your instructor. The first thing you should know about Steinmetz Falls is that it's located in the middle of nowhere. We have no sources of power other than the electrical systems that are shown on the left of this diagram. The hydro plant was the first thing built when the town was established. As the name suggests, Steinmetz Falls used to have a waterfall. Not anymore. We installed a dam blocking the water and then installed the turbine. As you see here, that turbine turns a shaft which makes the generator spin producing electricity. The electricity is then sent to the town. Our hydroelectric generator is rated at about 3 megawatts. As the town grew, we needed more electrical capacity, so we installed diesel electric generators, such as the one shown here. This 16 cylinder monster turns a shaft, which turns the generator. The generator produces electricity. That electricity is then again sent to the town. Speaking of the town, a typical day looks something like this for the electrical usage. Here we have time on this axis and power consumed in megawatts on this axis. So when everybody in town is sleeping, the town consumes about 2 megawatts. As people wake up and start to go about their business, and especially when the factories come online, the power peaks out at about 8 megawatts. Then, as people finish their work day and go home, it again drops down to about 2 megawatts. That's a typical day. Some days, especially when the weather gets cold, will actually consume more electrical energy than this as people turn on their space heaters. Some days will be less. Again, it all depends, but that's a typical day. About 10 years ago, we got real serious about alternative energy, and we installed the last three items you see on the left, including solar energy, a pumped storage unit, and a battery. When I say serious, I mean we got serious. We installed a 30 megawatt array you can see that's way more power than the town can consume. On a typical day, the town can only consume 8 megawatts. So what we did is we installed this pump storage system. When there's lots of solar energy, the power will flow this way, and it'll turn this motor. That motor will turn the shaft, and water will be brought from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir. Now, when it's dark, the opposite happens. Instead of pumping water uphill, water flows downhill into the turbine, which turns the shaft, which now makes this machine operate as a generator, providing electrical power to the town. Now our pumped storage system is rated at 10 megawatts, and it's capable of providing that amount of power for two days. We have near perfect geological conditions to make this possible. The hills behind us are hundreds of feet above and we're able to put a massive upper reservoir. And our lower reservoir, well, we'll never run out of water there because we can pull from the ocean itself. The last source of power on our electrical grid is the battery. Now the battery is rated at 8 megawatts, which means it's capable of powering the entire town. But it can only do so for two minutes. And that may seem like a silly thing to do, but two minutes is enough time for us to recover from a failure. In fact, you see Bob and Alice here in the control room. Their job is to monitor all of this equipment at all times, and if something goes wrong, to bring the system back up. They have a thankless job. If they're doing it right, nobody knows that anything's gone wrong. I can tell you we had a failure of our pump storage a while back. The system worked perfectly. The battery took the town load, and Alice and Bob worked really fast in order to get the diesels fired up and the hydro spinning in order to get the town powered, and nobody was the wiser. So ends our introduction. Stay tuned. In future videos, we will dive in and explore how some of these devices on the left operate. For example, we should talk about what is this little square box with the equal sign on one side and the triangle on the other.